Hey, how y'all doing today at the YouTube world? We back today. Got my partner in the house with me, B Cheesy. Yo, what's Big up? What's good? what's good, man? This is intro right here. Hey, before we get into this interview, Grizz, I want to ask you about this. This intro right here, Cash Over Hoes. Tell me a little bit about that. Hey, well, the song is called Cash Over Hoes because I feel like it's Cash Over Hoes. But <clears throat> really, also, I'm a big Tupac fan. The Tupac was always money over bitches. Now, I wanted to pay homage to Tupac in, in a way, because I kind of do in all, almost every of my song that I make. So I wanted to pay homage, and I called it Cash Over Hoes because it's similar to Money Over Bitches, only Cash Over Hoes is a little bit more, you know, grimier, I would say, because we talking about cash and we talking about hoes. He's talking about money and and bitches so i don't know maybe to me but it was paying homage to tupac really that's what i'm trying to say that's yeah, like, hope. and that's crazy you say it's paying homage to tupac because people won't believe it i wasn't a big tupac uh, uh biggie fan they not in my top 10 in my top five you know they was okay but i i would never go out and purchase a tupac album really shit i purchased never. just about all of them no, nah, not me, bro. Um, for some reason he was he was all right, but you know, for some reason his, his, I was more East Coast. I was most of that. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. But, but hey, that's, know, a, that's, that's a great that's a great influence though. Um, for this song right here, you know, yeah. we're gonna play a little bit more of this here. Um, because I hear you kicking the verse right here. Yeah. Let me rewind this a little bit here. Yeah, I like it, man, because the, the flow, man, this is a one take, bro, I, I recorded this in a in classic. Hold on, one take? Yeah, one take, man, one did take. Did, did y'all hear that right there? That's that's a real artist right there, all in one take. Y'all got to excuse me, me, me and, me and my, my fat hands right here, hit the, hit, the, hit the wrong visual here. No, classic told me, I said, what's up, you want me to... Uh, oh, Chris Classic did yeah, this one. Yeah, he recorded me. And then he said, oh, you want me to... Uh, uh, I asked him, you want me to do it over? He's like, nah, man, it was perfect. Because this one, man, this song... Ooh, man, it, it, I like the, the 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 way that I was rhyming it with the air and the flare and the stare and the you know and all the whole fucking the way the whole from beginning to end. Man, I think this the song here over one of these trap beats of today will, 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 will you know probably hit, bro. But shout yeah. out to um Chris at Classic Studios um um. Chris just brought him up, man. Um, he was a big he was um supporter. influence, yeah, he a big supporter. supporter. Um. Definitely. When the scene stopped, started. Yeah, definitely he was. Now, I remember the kid, man. Yeah, he, um, he, he tell some, him. some other producers that you worked with um, during the um, the process man, of putting this project together. Man, off the off the top, Matt Monster. That shout understood, out, shout out Matt. Man, that understood track, bro. That's why I shouted him, shouted him out because that understood track, man. Well, the night we recorded that shit. Everybody in the studio was feeling it. Everybody. There was a lot of cats in the studio that night. Yo, that song, everybody wanted to jump on it. And there was like this 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 uh 17 minute version. And I don't know what happened to it. I ain't got it, man. I, I wish I still had it. There's a version, 17 minutes, like a whole bunch of artists that night jumped on that track. It was so good. They understood. But uh yeah, man, monster definitely. Definitely. One of my, my favorites, favorite. all time favorites. That's it, why it, it makes my Spotify top one hundred every year. <laughs> yeah, that's why I shot at him out too. That's why he came out real quick because that song, man, to me, that song, song was like everything, you know. And the way they showed me love that night, that was that. That's what's up, you know. You no. Know? Yeah. Um, everybody wanted to jump on it, so I was like, man, they showing me love, so that's what's up. That's why that's what's and definitely my boy SC. SC, oh, yeah. SC, shout out SC. Yeah, shout out SC. Yeah, yeah we yeah. work with some uh, the cats out of Virginia. Oh, Virginia yeah, Fat Stack, these yeah, Fat Stack Productions. Oh, that's right. Yeah, these them boys. right here, man. They, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Fat Stack Production right boys. Now. Yeah, let's play a little bit more of that. Yeah, man. 
Motherfucker. Yeah, so what was your state of mind when you was writing that song? What was your state Man, of mind? I, most of the shit that I write, you know, it's like uh, I'm releasing some kind of fucking anger or something. Uh, probably at that time I was just going through uh, some shit and needed some money and I just patched up a hose, man. And I was just probably just mad because the lyrics, man, they 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 sound angry, bro. <laughs> they sound angry. And you know, I'm very, very fucking emotional. So I would put my if you go back and listen to some of my other stuff, even the shit that we did with like uh mixtapes and shit. Uh -huh. Shit we did for mixtapes, uh most of that shit was just uh it was therapy, man. To me, just spitting shit in front of the mic, that shit was therapy to me. I write my shit down and me telling me telling the therapist, you know, what's going on. It was the therapist is the mic. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And that's how I saw it. That's how I viewed it. So every time I <clears throat> every time I write something, but like I said, most of that that that, that underground mixtape shit, man, that, that's some real shit right there. You hear it. Like like Lost Soul, for example. That song, you listen to that song, you gotta pay attention to the lyrics. I was really going through that shit because it, it describes <clears throat> my teenage years up until um when I wrote that song, which was I don't know, some musical, but it, it was just it, that period of my life. The first, first verse described when I was a teenager. The second verse described when I was, uh, you know, out there hustling and shit. And the third verse was like, damn, now I got a shorty and I got my, my family. So what do I do, you know? And I got it. It was a deep song, man. It, it was real shit, real shit. That's what's up. Yeah, this is, this. yeah, boy, you're natural at this. You're a natural just interview shit.